Tesla owners, beware and look out for this. If you have a Tesla, please, 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 please look at your insurance contract or your declarations page. That's usually the first page of your policy and see what limit you have on your rental coverage. Most policies have a maximum of 30 days that they'll pay for your rental. If you're in a car accident, whether it's your fault or if you get hit by somebody whose insurance company won't do rental authorizations, things like that, a lot of times your insurance company will pick up the bill for your rental car while we sort everything out with the guy who hit you. If you only have a 30 day limit on your policy, your policy is only gonna pay for a rental car for you for 30 days. And guess what? It takes forever to get Tesla's fixed. There's so many supply chain limitations. There's only a, a certain number of shops that you can go to to get a Tesla repair done. There's only a certain number of body shops that can even get Tesla parts. And it's almost certainly going to take more than 30 days for you to get your car back. And we don't want you to have to foot that bill.